Have we ever seen an act of cyber terrorism? If you ask scholars and academics who study cyber attacks and cyber security, the response is 50% say yes and 50% say no. We have never seen an act of cyber terrorism. So what is cyber terrorism? Cyber attacks fall into four different categories. There's crime, which shall not concern us today, cyber crime, although it's the biggest of all. There's espionage, using the internet computers to spy on companies or states. There's thirdly, subversion, hacktivism, um, that would include militants who are socializing with other militants online, that could be lone wolves, finding out uh, what kind of targets to attack, orienting themselves about ideology. And fourthly, there's cyber sabotage, actually using computer code to attack targets. So what is cyber terrorism? I would say cyber terrorism is clearly sabotage, cr attacking critical infrastructure, for instance, bringing down a financial, the financial markets, terroriz terrorizing people through the use of computer code. So have we ever seen an act of cyber terrorism if we define it as cyber sabotage? The answer is no, we've never seen a militant group uh, using computer attack to achieve a kinetic or violent effect. That just hasn't happened yet. There are very few computer attacks that have achieved a violent physical effect. In fact, there's only one external attack that has ever achieved that, Stuxnet, and that was a state operation. So what about the risk? Is there a real risk of militants using uh, cyber attack to attack critical infrastructure? The answer is yes, there is a very clear risk. Uh, the risk is real, and this could happen. Uh, so first we have to understand how secure are utility uh, companies? Is the electric, electrical grid, how secure are power plants? How secure are financial markets? The system, the computer systems that these um, companies are using when they, uh, the systems that run things that move fast and that can burn and explode, these systems are by design oftentimes insecure. They're built to be safe in terms of they're built to run permanently, to be, uh, to be uh, uh, safe, for an, say, for an industrial plant or a chemical plant, but they're not built to be secure. So the systems are, um, for experts, relatively easy to crush, which then raises the big question, why haven't we seen an act of computer sabotage by militants yet? Why haven't we seen an act of cyber terrorism yet? And the answer is controversial and complicated. We can say that right now those with the capabilities to cause physical harm through computer attack do not have the intention. Those with the capabilities don't have the intention. And those with the intention don't have the capabilities. So terrorists, militants, we can assume have the intention, but right now don't have the capabilities, the engineering skills, and the target intelligence to cause physical harm. So let's look at how easy it is to cause physical harm through a computer attack for a moment. How easy would cyber terrorism be? Any organization or any individual that tries to say, cause a blackout would need two things. One, target intelligence about a specific target system to be attacked and um, the uh, skills, the software or engineering skills to do so. One is relatively easy to get. The skills can be acquired you know, from textbooks, from training sessions, etc. It's not that hard to do this. But the target intelligence for the most secure and for the most sensible, for the most high-profile targets, the target intelligence is relatively difficult to get. Again, let's take Stuxnet as an example, the attack on Iran's nuclear enrichment program. The most critical part was getting the target intelligence with very precise figures about rotating speeds inside the plant and design the weapon, design, design the attack in a way that allowed uh, physical effect. So the next question then is, how about the future? What about these uh, critical infrastructure systems that are 
standardized, is there a potential for a generic computer attack on critical infrastructure that doesn't require detailed target information? That is a very difficult question to answer. Right now, I think the trend is that such an attack is getting slightly easier for a number of reasons, because mainly the information is more easily and more publicly available. So the attacks are getting easier, and at the same time, uh, knowledge of how to do this is, is spreading. So bottom line is, uh, I would expect an act of cyber terrorism uh, is certainly within the realm of the possible, within the realm of the thinkable. But let me end on an optimistic note. What's the benefit of cyber terrorism? I think the benefit from a militant's point of view of a computer attack is overstated. Violence is a, an emotional uh, thing to happen. If you cause a blackout or if you delete data on a hard drive in a company, that will cause uh, ang that will make people angry. That will be a, a nuisance, uh, certainly. But it's not the same thing as exploding a suicide vest in a crowded public space. So by definition, computer attacks are less violent because the violence is very much mediated. You have to weaponize the target system than old-style terrorist attacks. So perhaps it is over-optimistic to assume that militants realize the limitations of computer attack in terms of the emotional impact. But I do think the... Uh, ultimate possibility of terrorizing people through cyber attack is more limited than we think it is. <laughs>